Look how much this operator skin glows just in the menus. That is actually freaking crazy. So let's see how this looks like. He legit just got vaporized to another dimension, bro. Would you still care to talk to me? So, uh, what's up, guys? It's Terry here by Nino Quaji, and welcome back to another video of Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer and Warzone 2. In today's video, we're covering a very special store bundle, very long awaited the Tracer Pack Cyber Riot bundle. This comes with a Damascus Operator skin, which looks just crazy as you guys can see, and two Tracer blueprints, one for the M13B, which we've had tr Tracers for the M13 before, but specifically, we have new Tracers for the Vel 46, and this is the first Tracer for the Vel 46. So all this is for 2400 COD points and some other cool stuff. If you guys are excited to see how the traces look like on these weapons, see how the camels look like on the weapons, and of course, see how the Damascus Operator skin looks like in-game and anything secretive about this bundle, make sure you guys drop a like in the video, subscribe, and turn on those post notifications. On this channel, I tend to cover, you know, store bundles, tracer packs, you know, Mastercraft slash Reactors if they ever come out with them, and other sorts of bundles that interest me. So if you guys, you know, look forward to store bundles or whatever the case is, you can find that on this channel. And I also upload Warzone 2 gameplay and other just random videos. So if you like variety or you vibe with my personality, then you've come to the right channel. Go ahead and subscribe. But that's enough of me talking. Let's go ahead and check out this amazing bundle. So starting it off, we got the operator skin of Codex for Callisto. And this looks really freaking insane. I legit have no words for it. You legit freaking glow, as you can see. Legit just an animated freaking skin. You can see that it's pretty much is Damascus from the sort of like uh, like like outlines if you look very closely on the uh, the skin. And Callista looks really freaking crazy with this uh, with this skin. This kind of reminds me of one of the Vanguard skins that came out during like the late life cycle of Vanguard. But overall, very cool operator skin. Probably just worth a W for the skin itself. Next up, we got the Neo Pyric Vel 46, which comes with the purple geometric trace rounds and the geometric deletion effect. And let's see uh, how it looks like real quick. And yeah, you legit turn your enemies into a prism of, like, geometry, if you want to say that, which is pretty insane. That's some pretty dope tracers. And overall itself, the gun has these sorts of attachments. Looks pretty clean for itself. No ammunition, so obviously don't mess with the ammunition if you want to keep the tracers, but you won't be able to put any of these tracers on other weapons, so pretty cool gun. Next up, we got the M13B Riptronic, which also comes with the same effects of purple and geometric deletion. And once again, if we look at the little example there, it's pretty much the same tracers as the Vel 46, but this time the, the reticle actually has like a like a, a distance meter, which is kind of cool, so that's kind of dope. And here are the attachments that the gun comes with. No ammunition once again, so you can't put these tracers on any other guns besides other M13B blueprints. And overall, pretty clean gun. We also got the weapon charm of Glowing and Going, the decal of Zakaev Arms. Huh, Zakaev's mentioned here. And we also got the loading screen of Lasers On. So I'm gonna go ahead and cop this for 2400 COD points. And we're gonna see how the camels look like on the weapons, see how the tracers look like in game and see how the operative skin looks like. And of course the decal as well, which I'm interested in. Let me know what you guys think about the bundle so far. And let's go ahead and check out this bundle out. Look how much this operator skin glows just in the menus. That is actually freaking crazy. She's just like, what's up? I shine, that's right. But here we are with the Riptronic M13B and the Neo Pyric Vel 46. Before talking about these guns in specific, I just thought I showed you guys how the guns look like with the decal. The decal actually brings up a lot of the gun, as you guys can see here. And I think these guns look better without the decal, but if you were to put this decal on other weapons, as you can see from the TAC-56 and the Vazenov 9K, it looks very cl clean on these guns as well. Like, if you were put to put the solid color camos on the TAC-56, this decal blends really well with some of the darker colors, which I like a lot. It's a little bit of a pinkish color, so, uh, you know, the, the yellow camo doesn't really work on it, but... Um, if you were to put this with like polyatomic or some other of the darker colors, it's a pretty clean decal. So W with the decal in my eyes. But now moving on to the main course of the video, here is the Reptronic M13B with all the attachments shown. Once again, if you want it, you can change this class setup however you want. However, don't change the ammunition. If you change the ammunition, you will take off your trace arounds, but you can change anything else. But when it comes to the customization of this gun, uh, when it comes to the camos here, the base camos, you keep a lot of the purple. Here's how gold looks like. Here's how platinum looks like. Here's how Polyatomic looks like, and here's how Orion looks like. 
And when it comes to the fun camos, here's how the yellow camo looks like, blending in pretty well with some of the purple. And here are the solid color camos. So honestly, you kind of lose that whole like purple effect and it's kind of nice to just keep this gun in its regular form, at least from, from what it's looking like here. Cause only a very little bit of the, the purple actually, you know, comes out of the original blueprint, I should say. You know, besides on some of the actual camos of this gun, so doesn't really mix well with other camels, which is kind of an L in my eyes. Moving onwards, here is the Vel 46. And once again, if you want to keep the traces for the Vel 46, you can change any attachment except for the ammunition. Don't mess with the ammunition or you'll lose the tracers. When it comes to the camels, here is the base camels, which look kind of cool on this gun. A whiteout looks interesting on this weapon. And here's gold. Here is platinum. Here's polyatomic. And here's Orion. Pretty much pretty plain because it doesn't really mix with the blueprint to look all that well. Here is the yellow uh, camo. And here are the solid color camos, which once again, the purple doesn't really show well uh, with, the, with the camo combination. So honestly, if you were to buy this blueprint, it's going to be more for the base look of the gun or the traces themselves, which I think are going to be pretty fire. Now we're going to see how the guns look like with their meta attachments on. So here's the base blueprint attachments for the Riptronic M13B. And here's the meta M13B, which as you guys can see, you lose a lot of the look of the gun. So pretty much you're going to be losing, you know, most of this gun. You know, you're going to have to put on a color camo of your sort, you know, your own and just live with the tracers at the end of the day. The, the blueprint design kind of doesn't matter at this point, which sucks. Here's the base blueprint attachments for the Vel 46. And here's the meta attachments for the Vel 46. And honestly, you don't lose that much of the Vel 46. You definitely lost a lot more on the M13B, but this, you can pretty much inspect this in game and it'll look kind of clean, which is pretty nice. But yeah, I believe that's all that is to be covered in the menus. You can see that the Damascus operator skin looks really freaking clean. And without further ado, let's head into a game, check out how these traces look like, and uh, see how Callista looks like as well. Let's rock and roll. Okay, so here we are with the M13V purple tracer gun, which looks very freaking clean as you guys can see. And here is the Veil 46, which also looks very beautiful and amazing on this uh, this map. It has a nice little metallic chrome look. How does it look like in the darkness though? In the darkness, or in a little bit more darker areas, you can see that the purple actually glows on this gun, which is actually pretty freaking dope. So yeah, definitely nice to use, you know, on shipment or anything else. Same with the M13B. You're going to see a big difference in terms of the inspection as in the darkness, as in the light, because you really can't see the, the the darkness or the, you know, the light colors in the light. So yeah, pretty cool freaking weaponry. Uh, let's have a look at the, uh, you know, the reticles. The reticles look pretty cool, if I do say so myself. Just a nice little purple uh, sight. You also have sort of uh, numbers on the reticle of the, of the M13B. And yeah, so let's check out the tracers. The geometric traces look crazy on these freaking weapons, bro. What the heck? I can imagine the death effect is going to be pretty clean on this gun as well. So let's start off with the Vel 46. Let's see how this looks like. He legit just got vaporized to another dimension, bro. What the heck? That's crazy. <laughs> and now let's see how the M13B treats uh, our freaking foes here. Yeah, they legit just gave vaporized to another dimension. That is probably one of the coolest freaking uh, death effects. It's very quick. You know, it's not as showy as others, but I mean, the purple tracers themselves are pretty insane, especially when you when you go up and take a look at them. This is one of the craziest sort of blueprint guns I've seen. And I know some of you guys are curious as to see how finishers look like with the new skins. So let's go ahead and see it. Bruh, she glows as well, bro. You guys see? She looks freaking amazing. Now I'm gonna switch over to my meta classes so that you guys can see that my classes still have the traces on them. It's like, it's like I said, as long, see, my meta classes have the traces on them. As long as you don't change the ammunition, you will keep the meta, like the, the, the traces on the weapon. When you change any attachment except for the ammunition, just don't change the ammunition and you're good. You can keep your tracers. Still one of the coolest effects, but yeah, I think that's it in first person. Let's go ahead and go into third person and check out the skin uh, in game. And here is the Damascus Operator skin for Kalisto, and she looks really freaking good. Never thought Damascus would look so freaking good. And if you go go into darker places, you can see that uh, she actually glows in the dark, bro. Like she actually glows. 
which is insane. So this is probably one of the coolest skins to play third person with, legitimately. So yeah, I think that's going to be it for the video. Overall, do I think this is a W bundle? Yeah, I think it is a W bundle. Uh, the skin is one of the best in the game. And we get Vel46 traces, which have been more meta lately because the Vel46 feels like really great as a gun. So up to you if you like the Vel46 or the Operator skin. Uh, you know, obviously it's cosmetics at the end of the day. So, you know, cop it if you want. But I think it's a W overall. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you guys drop a like in the video, subscribe, turn on those post notifications. We still got a couple of crazy, you know, Operator bundles coming in soon, including a $30, 3000 COD point bundle, which I think is next. So definitely stay tuned to the channel for that. And uh, without further ado, I just want to say, you're freaking amazing. I love you all.